Hey guys, so today I want to show you some easy tips and tricks for getting a really flawless application of your foundation and to get an airbrushed look to your skin after it's all said and done. So to begin, I'm going to start out with this foundation. This is um, Maybelline Superstay Matte. No, I'm sorry, just Maybelline Superstay. I really like this one. I gravitate towards it a lot because I think the coverage is really good and I, I think it does a nice job of giving you a really kind of flawless complexion. So I'm just going to start by putting this in the back of my hand. And I'm going to take this flat top brush because I really like the way this applies foundation. I think it has it really helps with the coverage as opposed to like a buffing brush. And I'm just going to start dotting it around. And I'm using this dotting motion before I start blending because it really helps with the coverage. All right, now that it's all dotted, I'm just going to kind of push it into the skin and blend it. Okay, so once that's blended, I'm going to take this MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost. And I'm going to use this for highlighting and concealing under the eyes. So I'm going to do it in kind of a triangular shape, bring it straight out. And this type of shape helps conceal bags. It doesn't highlight the bags as much as the half moon type of shape does. And it just brings more light to your entire face. And if you want light highlighting in other places, you can put some down the bridge of your nose, on your forehead, on your chin, all the high points of your face basically. And then I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender sponge and just press the highlighter pen into the skin. So I'm literally just pushing it into the skin and it blends really, really easily. So it, that just helps to conceal the darkness and help hide the bags. But for me personally, I like to have a little bit more coverage under the eyes. So I'm just going to take my NARS Creamy Concealer and just dot a couple, um, a couple dots just in the darkest areas. Just where that bag kind of shows up the most. And I'm going to take the Beauty Blender sponge again and just press that in. I find that if you press it versus swipe it, you get better coverage. So the next step after you've concealed under your eyes is to find any blemishes and try and hide them with concealer. I like to use a stick form of concealer like this, and I know this is kind of, there are newer and better things out there I guess today, but I really like this for blemishes because it's a little stickier and I find the coverage a little better. This one is the CoverGirl and Olay concealer, so I'm just going to take this and dot it right on the blemish. And then I'm just going to take the tip of the Beauty Blender again and blend very lightly around the blemish where I put the concealer. So basically I'm blending everywhere except what's covering the blemish. And that does a really nice job of hiding it. The final step for flawless airbrush looking skin is really important I find and that is pressed powder or loose powder whatever you prefer 
and you really need something um, like a powder puff or even your, your beauty blender. I use this a lot for powder when it's not wet. And you're going to do a pressing motion into your face instead of a swiping motion. And this is really going to make your pores dissolve. It's going to fill them in and really help to cover any more blemishes you have. So you could use a, um, a loose powder like this one. This is Bare Minerals. It's the ID Mineral Veil. You can use this or you can use a pressed powder like this one, Hello Flawless by Benefit. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this pressed powder. So you just open it up and with the powder puff, press the powder puff into the makeup and then you're going to just kind of roll it over your skin. So I don't know if you can tell but this half of my face has been powdered with the puff and this half hasn't and you will get somewhat of a heavier look uh, when you use this technique. It, it can look pretty natural but if you look, if you look up close you will to some extent be able to tell you're wearing makeup. So I recommend this for a, a formal event or if you're just the type of person that likes to have really airbrushed skin all the time during the day at work, whenever but this technique really helps to smooth everything out and literally make it look like your skin's been photoshopped. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side. Okay, and there you have it guys. That's the completed foundation, airbrushed, perfect skin look. I hope that those tips helped you and I'd love to hear any tips you guys have for keeping your skin looking perfect. So thanks so much for watching, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you soon. Bye.